What's good, everybody? It's your boy Vaughn back again. And if anybody knows me and knows me well, y'all already know that Mortal Kombat is one of my favorite video games of all time. It's probably like in top five or top 10 of them. But I really want to take the time out of the day to really tell you this. Here are five characters I believe that should return back to the franchise because they had so much potential but got fumbled like at a certain point in time. This first character I'm about to mention has a lot of potential and he should be brought back into the actual franchise. The first person that I think that should be brought back into it is Kai. The reason, and no, I'm not saying that because he's black. I just want to say Kai, the reason why Kai should be brought back into the franchise or back, brought back into the game, whatever you want to call it, is because at the end of Mortal Kombat 4, Raiden hands Kai his staff T basically telling him that he's basically going to be Earthrealm's new champion. And Kai also possesses the, almost the same abilities as Liu Kang did or Liu Kang has with fire and also just being a well-skilled martial artist. And not only that, as shown at the end of Mortal Kombat 11, we see that Liu Kang actually went back in time to go to Kung Lao's ancestor, which is the great Kung Lao, that, which is heavily mentioned throughout the game, the game series, and he's going back in time to train him. And Liu Kang actually trained Kai. And Kai is basically, you know, Liu Kang's protege in Mortal Kombat 4. So it would be interesting if they actually did bring him back into the, into the story to make him somebody that's going to be mentored by Liu Kang, especially with him being a fire guy. And yeah. <laughs> Secondly, the second character I would like to see brought back into the game would be Ashra. Now, a lot of people don't know who Ashra is, which is a shame, because she's a real good character. Not only is that she's a good character, even though she does look like a female Raiden, she has a lot of depth to her character and also to her story. Like, she's a former demon that who's now just trying to be godlike. So it's interesting to see if they were to actually bring her character back. And she's one of the best Mortal Kombat characters, not in terms of just females, but just in history. She's one of the best Mortal Kombat characters to exist and it would be interesting to see her come back into the storyline with everybody else and how she would fit into it the third person i would love to see come back to the game would be movado now not too many people are familiar with movado but this dude was like ruthless like he was dark obviously by the way he dressed but this dude was ruthless and he's also a leader of the red dragon clan which is a rival gang against the Black Dragon, which is led by Kano and Cabal. So it would be interesting to see that rival history or story evolve between these two uh, gangs against each other because Movado was an actual bad dude. So it would be cool to see his character come back into it. The fourth character I would love to see come back into the Mortal Kombat game franchise would be Onaga because Onaga is just like a fearful dude. Like Shao Kahn is even scared of this dude. <laughs> Like, he was a fearful person in Mortal Kombat Deception. Now, this dude is not even real, but just to look at him, I just get scared of looking at him because he's just such a fearful dude. And also, he's a strong type of character. And just imagine if he was actually in not just this game, but if he was in a future Mortal Kombat game. Just imagine if, you know, with a newer design and a newer story to bring him up, this dude would be a real unstoppable force. And I would love to know more about his story. I'm sorry if I didn't read the comics, but I would love to know more about his story explained throughout the game. And lastly, this last character, I know, I know everybody hates this character. Everybody has a personal vendetta with this character. And I never understood it. I understood what was the whole reasoning behind it when they made the character because he was just an add-on person. He wasn't really supposed to be in the game. But I really do think Su Hao should be brought back into the game. At least not in this game, but he should be brought back into, you know, the fran the whole, like, franchise of it. Because Su Hao never really got his credit just due. And I understand that people have a personal gripe with the character. But he would actually tie well into you know, a storyline with either Jax or Sonya Blade or, you know, Johnny Cage because he's a military guy. So it would be interesting to see that as well if he was to be brought back into the game.